If I told you a millionaire drank glow-in-the-dark water until his jaw disintegrated, because experts blessed a miracle tonic and profiteers paid kickbacks, would you believe me? This isn't sci-fi. It's the Eben Byers case, and it's the reason drug laws exist today. Early 1900s, the world falls in love with radium. It treats some cancers, so the crowd decides it must cure everything. Toothpaste, cosmetics, water crocs, radioactive wellness goes mainstream. Enter William J. A. Bailey, Harvard dropout, fake MD, selling Radithor, distilled water laced with radium, marketed as perpetual sunshine. Doctors get a cut on every bottle. Science of the day, thin, marketing, ruthless. Eben Byers, steel air, golf champ, gilded age glamour, hurts his arm. A therapist prescribes Radithor. He loves the toned up feeling. Then he doubles down. Two to three bottles a day for years, sends cases to friends, even doses a racehorse. That's how belief works. We don't want cures, we want confirmation. Radium imitates calcium. The body packs it into bone like treasure, except it's a time bomb. Alpha particles shred DNA from the inside. Buyers wastes away. Weight plummets, headaches drill, teeth fall out, jawbone disintegrates. Surgeons remove most of his upper and lower jaw to slow the rot. FTC investigators arrive to interview a living warning label wrapped in bandages. Byers dies in 1932, bones still blazing with radiation. The Wall Street Journal later nails the epitaph, the radium water worked fine until his jaw came off. Public outrage detonates. The radium quack industry collapses. This case, alongside the radium girls, helps push America toward the modern rule book. Prove safety, prove efficacy, stop the lies, inspect the factories. Why this still matters. Authority bias sells. Charisma outruns caution. Profit preys on pain. Wealth can't outspend biology, and optimism is not an antidote. Innovation without regulation turns people into experiments. One bottle, one click, one biohack at a time. Subscribe and follow for more myth-breaking medicine, where hype gets audited and history bites back.